If you're not using these amazing AI tools in Canva, then you're missing out. Because these tools that are being shown today are going to impressively make your design life so much easier. In fact, you may have not even realized they exist or how to use them. And if you don't have Canva Pro, I highly recommend you do because it's one of the best values out there and it's a huge productivity powerhouse. Make sure to check the links in the description. There's a link in my description to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. That way you can try any tool that you see on here today that may be on the Pro plan. Once you see what I'm gonna show you today, I think you're definitely gonna wanna sign up. And so the first couple I wanna show are all gonna be a part of Canva Magic Design. And so if I move a little bit too fast, here are a series of other videos that dive in a little bit further, specifically with Canva Magic and their Magic AI tools. But for right now, since I'm sharing so many, when it comes to magic design, I'm going to focus on two right now, okay? So the first two are going to be presentations and then some new features in video. You're going to be very impressed with this. So as we scroll down, you could see everything that magic design does offer right off the bat. So to start, we're going to open up a fresh slate of a Canva presentation. Now check this out. You can see right here what it says right here. Fast track your next pitch with magic design for presentations. Just type in your idea and then Canva is going to automatically generate professional looking pages filled with your topic. It's going to include the outline, the samples, and even some captivating media. Now, what you want to do is up in the top left-hand corner, this is where you can simply type in where it says, use four plus words to describe exactly what you're looking for. What I just said is a presentation about AI and how to use it. And look, just like that, here it is. Now, if I select see all, now it's going to expand and show me all the slides that it made. If I like this first one, go ahead and click it. I can add one slide at a time or I can go ahead and apply all seven pages. Look, as I go through each of these different slides, I now have these beautiful looking and professional looking slides all about AI. Then I could even add more and more slides to it. By selecting each one of these designs, if I select the first one, this one has seven designs. If I select the second one, this has seven designs. So instantly I have 56 slides that I can go through and choose exactly what I'm looking for. And it's so simple to replace these images with your own. So if I take this one, I can click and drag it and drop it in to these windows right here and simply replace the images just like that over and over again. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be specifically for video. We have video background remover, which we're gonna demo that in real time. And now we have highlights, where if you're creating a video, it can auto cut to the best parts of your video with highlights. And it also has magic media, including text to AI video, which we'll go over in a second. But perhaps one of my favorites is gonna be video upscale. Scaler. This one is going to be a game changer as well. And also image animate another very helpful one. So since we're on the topic of video, let me first show you this category in magic media. And this is going to be text to video. It's going to operate the same way as text to image, which stick around because I'm not going to show you magic media text to image. I'm going to actually show you dream lab next. And that is where Leonardo AI has been implemented. But first check this out. Notice on the left hand side, this is pretty cool. It says powered by runway ML. Enter five plus words to describe. Now, in order to do this, we're going to head over to my mega prompts database in which you can get access to all of my databases via the links in the description. But why I am coming over here is because now I have added a brand new tab called AI video. If I open this up, these are all going to be prompts specifically for generating and creating some amazing looking AI videos. And then I also have some of these in my prompt generators database. So all you have to do is just come in here and simply copy any of these prompts. Next, we're going to come in over here in Canva and then just simply paste it in, which is what I did right here. Now, the cool thing about this is that you're going to get 50 credits. So my credits are going to reset at the end of the month, which is not a bad idea to get 50 credits or 50 generations a month. So as this begins to think, let's just go ahead and click on some of these videos right here. And you can see as I click on each one, it does a pretty good job. Okay, and there you have it. Check this out right here. This did a pretty good job. Pretty impressed with these results and to only take one to two minutes and 50 credits a month, not bad at all. Okay, now moving on and this is gonna be one of my favorites. You could see right off the bat, I am in Dream Lab, which is AKA Leonardo AI. But look at these images I was able to create. Beautiful looking cinematic images and then even these right here where it did a great job creating these cool looking holiday and Christmas polar bears sliding down a glass of hot chocolate, but let's really take things to the true test. We're going to head over to my Leonardo AI prompts database. Now these are all going to contain images created directly from within Leonardo AI. But in this case, let's do a quick comparison just to see how good of a job it could do 
in creating some similar style images, I'm gonna go over here to this one right here. I think this is pretty cool. I just made this in Leonardo AI flow state. So let's go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. Now we're gonna head back to Dream Lab paste this in, let's see how good of a job it can do. But while this is thinking, I did wanna show you this. If you select add image, look at this right here. Now I can utilize style references, but then content and image to image is also coming soon, fantastic. So right off the bat, look at this, pretty amazing. Good job with this image. Now, staying on this same prompt, let's try a style reference by simply uploading a file. On the left-hand side, there it is. Now let's go ahead and now create this one. I have to tell you, incredibly impressive, especially especially being able to use another image as a style reference. Amazing, look at these images, such a good job. Let's leave the same prompt, add an image, style reference. We're gonna upload that recent file I just downloaded from my database, there it is. And now let's regenerate this again. Oh, crazy good, that is amazing. Look at that, it got it perfectly right. It added a little building in the background, but for the most part, this did a phenomenal job. Okay, now moving on, we're gonna try something that is perhaps my most helpful and my favorite tool in Canva. I've been able to stop using Photoshop since I've discovered that Canva actually does this actually better than Photoshop, believe it or not. And that's gonna be their background remover tool. However, there's a part two of the background remover tool that just came out not too long ago. And that is gonna be video background remover tool. We're gonna go ahead and try both. Okay, so first we're gonna try it with an image. I'll go through this very quickly. Here's my image right here. Just select the actual image up at the very top. This bar, as soon as I select my image, this bar appears above it. And then there it is. It's called BG Remover. Go ahead and now select BG Remover. That's all I have to do. And then just like that, it completely removes the background. Look how good this did. I can now change this color to anything else I want. Even add some beautiful looking gradient backgrounds. And that image is going to just filter in there perfectly. But now let's try the video background tool. It's going to operate the same exact way. Here is the video of this man dancing. Do the same thing, just click on it and now select BG Remover. Now he is detached. There is my new background, which I will remove. But look, let's go ahead and hit play. And then there he is. Oh my gosh, that did a great job, beautiful. Okay, now let's try it with one more thing. Now, same exact thing, click on the actual video and now select BG Remover. And now just like that, there she is. Let's bring in another shape one more time. Go ahead and expand this one and then reposition the layers as well to bring Luna to the front. Now let's adjust the colors and add that gradient. Okay, now that looks pretty good. Hi, I'm Luna, nice to meet you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That is very impressive, if I do say so myself. Which now brings me to the final part of this series. Now, there's going to be multiple apps, but these apps are all contained within the Magic Studio. And this is going to be my favorite portion of Canva, because Magic Studio is going to contain all of Canva's native magic tools, all AI-powered magic tools. And so here it is right here. There is a specific link for Magic Studio. I'll also put this link in my description, because sometimes it could be hard to find this. But the reason why I love this so much is because this one web page is going to have everything that Canva offers when it comes to their Magic AI. So the first one I want to go over is going to be called Magic Expand. So let's go ahead and now bring in this image right here of this woman, okay? Now you can see it's more of a square size, but what if I want it to fill up the whole entire space? Simple. All you have to do, again, is select the image, okay? Make sure it's selected. Up in the top left, select this Edit button. As soon as you do that, this is where all the magic happens. No pun intended. Now, over here is where Magic Studio appears, okay? Just remember to scroll from left to right, and it's going to show you all of the magic features. So, the first one is Magic Expand. All you have to do now is click it. You have three options, free form, whole page, or one-to-one, -one, okay? Let's go ahead and now select whole page and now just simply select that expand button and now it goes to work right away. Okay, so I ran to a little bit of a hiccup. It says some results may not meet our policies. Okay, let's try another image instead. How about this image right here that we did not too long ago? Okay, again, click it again edit, and we'll try this one more time with Magic Expand, and on the whole page. Okay, amazing. Now, just like that, look, it's going to give me two options. The first one did it beautifully well. However, up in the top two, it said, sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. Okay, I'll select this astronaut. Here he is right here. Magic Expand, and again, whole page, and now expand. Okay, wow, now there you have it. Now, this did a pretty good job. It even added a little bit of shrubs in the background. Now, moving on, we are going to go to another favorite of mine, okay? I'm going to go ahead and expand this image right here. And this one is called Magic Grab. Select the image and again, select edit. 
Now, when this opens up, let's go to Magic Grab. We're going to remove this woman. Look, I didn't even do anything, but just with its AI technology, it puts her in that highlighted purple color, just like that. Now, on the left-hand side, I can simply remove her and have her as a second layer because the AI already detected her. If I wanted to do it manually, I could also use the brush command and manually just paint her out. But since this did get it right, go ahead and click her one time, okay? Just like that. Now that I clicked her, it now solidifies that that is going to be my option. Now just simply select grab and look how good of a job this is going to do. That's going to allow me to create her as its own separate layer. Now look, I can move her around and it still maintains the color consistency, okay? That's going to do such a good job to where now, let's just say for an example, I really wanted to add my creativity. I wanted to put her, let's say, more in the middle like this. Now I can come over to elements, search for an element that's just called, let's just go with tropical, just to add some craziness to it. And now I'm going to select this cool looking one right here that looks like Miami Beach, expand this one, change the positioning up to move it behind her. And now look at that. Now, as I move things around a little bit, halfway, halfway, look at this. This is pretty amazing. Now, since I removed her from the background, now she is hovering between two different worlds. AI futuristic, but she's also dreaming about the palm trees and beach. It's definitely gonna take your creativity to a whole new level. I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and download it, and now here is the final product using Magic Grab. Okay, so now for this next one, I have this image in over here. Here's what we're gonna do. Select the image, Select edit again. Now this time we're gonna use magic edit, okay? Now this time I'm gonna use brush instead because I want to remove this piece of ice. So I'm just simply gonna paint over this little block of ice. I'll type in palm trees, okay? Let's see if we can get palm trees and ice coexisting. Okay, now look at that, that's pretty impressive. Now you can go through the images and select which one did the best job. I definitely like this third one here, and look at that. It just now completely transformed it, and this one did pretty good as well. And now this time I'll do snow-capped mountains, and now select generate again. It's gonna remember the part I originally highlighted, but now we're gonna go from ice to palm trees to snow-capped mountains, and then just like that, look at that. Now this one did a very good job. Now, if you like it, select done, and now you can simply download this one. Okay, but staying on this image, now let's try what's called Magic Eraser. I like this too. It's gonna be the same concept. This time I'll select click, and again, hover over the part of the image, and now select erase, it's gonna completely remove that astronaut from my image. And look, just like that, he's already gone. Beautiful job. So now the next thing I wanna do is called Magic Animate. Here it is right here. Bring your designs to life with motion. I already have this opened up over here. Here is my icon, okay? Now, on the left-hand side, all we have to do is just, as I hover over each one, it's gonna automatically give me a preview of how I can make this icon get animated. Look at that right there, it's pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and go with handmade. And now just like that, my design has been animated. That's all you have to do. It's called magic animate, okay? Let's come in here and add one more thing. Now, to take it to another level, you can see on the left-hand side, we also have page animations where we can completely animate the whole entire page. Okay, so let's just hover over these and you could see how instead of taking just my icon, now it's gonna allow my whole entire page to be animated just like this. This is going to be so helpful, especially if you're sitting through a presentation and we all know that sometimes the same boring presentations, we need something to keep people's attention spans. This is going to do the trick. Okay, now you can see on this page, I want to show you one more thing. But again, this link will be in my description and you could see that there are going to be so many other things we didn't cover today. So these are going to be just ongoing videos because I think it's important to let you guys know what is available. You can see right here we have coming soon photo mock-up but again the next thing we're going to try is another pretty cool one and it's called magic morph it's going to take my boring text and completely transform it okay if i select over gingerbread do you see the original icons or the original graphics now it transforms it to something completely different so here is the quick example all you have to do is select the actual part of the image you want to animate so in this case we have the white star now describe the look you can type in anything that you want say cyberpunk okay now do magic morph there it is that star is now more of a cyberpunk style but if you like this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching